afternoon. Uh, I'm Troy Theater, Film, and Dance. Uh, last fall, I did a little presentation here as part of the Young Conference that was really geared toward faculty. This time around, though, I was like, I want to make a, a, a presentation, give a presentation that, that really appeals to students. So raise your hand if you're a student in the room. Awesome. I like you guys. Um, so great. When I was an undergraduate, like you, indeed, I learned how to ride this thing inside my college apartment. That is true. Now, I didn't have a teacher. I didn't have YouTube uh, for any type of instructional video. I didn't even know anybody who knew how to ride one of these things. The only advice I was given was from the gentleman who I purchased the unicycle from at a bike shop in, in Virginia. And um, when, I was pay uh, when I was paying for it, it was 90 bucks. I paid for it. I asked the guy, how do you ride this thing? And he's like, I don't know how to do it. He said, you're sort of on your own. I hear that there's a little strategy, though. He goes, I know some guys that ride, that you use chairs to help you learn how to ride. So and here is, here's the, uh, the million-dollar question. How do you learn to ride the cycle? Indeed, you take chairs. Um, I think it's great to take six, eight, 10, 12 chairs. We only have four here, so that's fine. And what you do, and this is how I did it in my apartment, you create. A two rows of chairs with the backs facing each other. And sort of like in gymnastics with even bars, you get on the unicycle and you walk yourself down the pathway atop of. <laughs> right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. Okay. Um, so you start that way. You have six, 12, six, 10, 12 chairs, create a nice pathway, go back and forth a whole bunch of times, right? It's repetition. Of course, as you become better, then you move these farther apart and you try to ride from one set of chairs to the other. All right, here we go. Danger, Will Robinson, here we go. All right, and yes, indeed, you just ride to the next set. Can you breathe? And then you just keep going. Okay, so. In essence, that's it. You do it over and over. Eventually, I'm sure you can guess, you can get rid of these chairs, and then you're good to go. All right. Now, even though I wanted to share with you how to ride a unicycle, more importantly today, I want to share with you three things I learned while learning to ride the unicycle. First and foremost, and this is an obvious, obvious one, the art of balance. Duh. One of the hardest things about a unicycle is learning how to balance all 360 degrees, one entire revolution uh, of the pedals and the tire. But I didn't know this then, but looking back, when I was learning to ride the unicycle, I was also learning how to balance my life as a student, right? You go to class, you have homework, you have study groups. But I made time, I took breaks from all that just to learn something else, right? And because it was an activity that got me off of my butt and I'm actually a physical activity, it was a great way to sort of find some balance in my life. By devoting 10, 15 minutes a day to this, I could step away and give my, my brain a bit of a break, all that good stuff. And it's amazing those 10, 15 minute increments that I would practice inside my apartment over time led me to a real level of mastery, okay? Second thing I want to share with you that I learned, not so obvious. Embrace and accept what it means to be a new learner. So as a student, I encourage you to just keep broadening your learning experiences, especially those beyond the classroom, whether it's in student groups or activities or getting to know the person who lives down the hall. Be curious. <coughs> keep seeking out new learning opportunities. But more importantly, it's pretty darn hard being a beginner. It's hard being a beginner. It can be a big uphill climb in the beginning. There's a lot of failure in the beginning when you're learning something new. I don't know how many times I fell off that thing, right? And you know, you have to embrace so the, some of those not so enjoyable aspects of learning because that's part of the process. If I can accept, wow, I was successful, I learned how to do this thing, I have to accept that, wow, there was frustration, there were questions, there were mistakes, there was times I doubted the advice the guy at the bike shop gave me. <laughs> but I kept going and I persevered, okay? Embrace, accept, being a new learner. And finally, and I wanted to riff on this idea that Skip Down talks about in his book, On Course, which is a book for students and success, the importance of having a strong support system as a new learner. Um, unicycling, it's a solo activity, right? 
But I'm here to tell you, it, it wasn't an independent endeavor on my part. There were others who played a role in this process. And I want to tell you about them. One of them was a professor of mine. He was a circus historian. And so it was great to be able to go to his office. He'd sit and talk about the circus for hours. He also used to give me his Cirque du Soleil DVDs, which were a great motivator for me to learn this, right? But I also have to give a shout out to my roommate, Milton. <laughs> After all, Milton was very supportive of me turning uh, our living room into a circus uh, training ground. So I, you know, I very much appreciative of that. So I guess for the students that are here, um, I'm sure you've heard the idea of having a good support system. Remember, there's lots of people that are rooting for you, family, friends, yeah, but also your instructors and your faculty members and staff. There are so many people on this campus that here that want to be that support system for you. And by golly, surround yourself with them and their supportive voices throughout the process, okay? But then also, I would encourage you, or I would challenge you to also become a support system for other people too. That's super important. I think it feels good to help other people and it feels, I think it feels pretty good to see other people succeed too. So again, there are a lot of people that were behind me this, you know, it was many hours, just me and this unicycle. It was lonely at times, but there were others that was part of the, part of the process. So what I really learned about uh, when I was learning how to ride the unicycle, the art of balance, embrace and accept being a new learner and develop and maintain a strong support system, all right? Thank you very much.